Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy how that all worked out, but uh, it's all the hard work we've been putting in this program is finally paying off, and uh, it just shows with the numbers and the results that we're getting, and hopefully we can keep the result uh, coming with uh, getting that win every time. Um, Stephen, going back to you, just take us through that last lap and a half or so. Well, the last uh, sort of 10 laps of the race, actually, I, uh, I saw that the car ahead of me was, uh, was struggling uh, more than I was. Uh, we were both sliding around a lot. So, and, and Lime Rock Park is a fantastic racetrack. I, I loved it, uh, racing around here, and I always do. Uh, but it's also not too many overtaking places uh, apart from turn one. So I knew I had to try and do something a little bit different, uh, push the guy ahead of me to... Uh, make a mistake or, or go a bit too quick into a corner and, and I, I realized the last three laps of the race going down into the final turn he was, he was going in a little too hot and, and having to slow up in the middle of the corner so uh, the last two or three laps uh, I was really backing off the, the last two or three corners and just trying to get a get a run uh, coming on the main straightaway and, um, and, and we actually pulled it off on, on the, the white flag lap and, and then I uh, We've got a bit of whiplash going into turn one, but uh, that, that, you know that's racing, and uh, knew that I only had a couple corners to uh, to get our first win in the in the series, and uh, and I, I did back off the last couple corners to make sure I got a good run coming down the hill and, and out of the final turn, and um, it just feels good when a when a plan comes together. <laughs> Michael, let's talk to you for a second. Obviously, it's your first win. I heard you tell Shay you've been thinking about this day since your accident happened. You were 12 years old. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been thinking about this win coming in professional uh, car racing since I broke my back. This is this is all the hard work over the years uh, coming together, and uh, everyone gets to see that. It makes me so proud that I can prove to everyone that I'm the same as anybody else, and I deserve to be here, and I love to be here. And you also came overcame some adversity at the beginning of when you broke your leg at Daytona. Yeah, that was a, that was a big one. Uh, luckily, I, I have uh, my good trainer uh, Josh Gibbs. He he got me in good shape and he got me recovered after that. And all the hard work we do every single week is paying off and clearly it shows today. But you, you know, you, you hate to put yourself out at the forefront all the time, but you know, what does this say to people who may, might be in a wheelchair that they can do everything? I'm so proud and all the, the talking and the showing that I, uh, people see, I can finally get them real, real results. And it, it clearly shows that it can be done. Uh, and I'm so proud that I can show other people and talk to them that your dreams really can come true uh, with uh, lots of hard work. Anyone else have any questions?